Okay, up next is our review on content warning. Brett, you ready to go viral? I'm ready to go viral, man. <laughs> Let's up them numbers. Up those numbers. So content warning is almost like a lethal company in a way, but your main goal is to go to the spooky place, record some spooky things, and get a lot of views. <laughs> this You have no clue why you're here. You just go to bed. You wake up. You get equipment and you go out. So once you go out and you get enough views and stuff, that turns into currency for money and you can buy more equipment to help you along your adventure. I played about two to three hours of this game and was having a fucking blast. I don't know about you because you were <laughs> you were screaming all over the place, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I was having a blast, but I was scared out of my mind. Yeah, so you have three days in order to get like a certain amount of views. I think the first, uh, you have to get like... I think it was uh, 3,000. 3,000 3, yeah. views on, on your first playthrough, and you have three days to do it. And if you don't do it, obviously it like it gives you this like bad screen saying, oh, you didn't make views, you didn't go viral, your channel did not take off, and your channel is trying to take off on this thing called SpookTube. So it's like a haunted YouTube version of YouTube, I guess you would say. Okay, okay. So And plus, like, each time you go with the recording, with the camera, it has a battery life of itself and how much mm. footage you can do. So you go out with your friends into a, a random world, and you go around and capture video. You have to bring that camera back. That's the key thing. Everyone else can just die off if need be, but you need to make sure someone has that camera to come back with. So you record some stuff, you come back, you drop it off into this little box, and it pops out a DVD. Once it pops out that DVD, you can plug, you can upload it to YouTube, and you all can sit on the couch and actually watch it. What's well, pretty unique about Content Warning, which a lot of people should know this if you do play it, a lot of these videos that you capture will save onto your computer. So I know it was filling up Sarah's memory a little bit. Yeah. She was having issues. Uh-oh. Yeah, so... You gotta be they're not that, that big. Yeah, they're not that big, but I don't know what else. She and has. you don't have to save she them. A lot. I think she was doing it wrong because there's a button on the wrong. screen that says, says save, save video to desktop. Oh. And if you don't do that, it doesn't save it. it. Doesn't so, save. yeah. Okay. But it's pretty cool. We, we've been capturing a lot of good content out of this game, but it's pretty fun. Like some of the enemies we run into, there's like this a reoccurring enemy. Like the first initial enemy you'll run into is just like this, um, this guy with no arms and he has like a uh, what what is that called a blender for a face or what is that yeah like? the uh, oh, a mixer 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 yeah. has a face and he'll just charge at you so you can't really we haven't been able to like kill or attack the enemies i know travis picked up cuz you'll find equipment along the way <clears throat> as you take going. it back uh yeah you can take it back if you survive so if you have it on you you can take it back so but what, travis what's the found equipment uh, so so far, the only equipment we've used is a microphone, a um, flashlight. flashlight, the camera, of course, and then uh, party poppers. You know, those little poppers. things you can just like pull out, like poo. Yeah. So they all do something special that like helps you survive. Or party poppers are just fun. Yeah, oh. they're just fun. You automatically get those when they're no. <laughs> okay, drop. cool. The flashlight so, lets you see. Yeah. The audio lets you um uh pick up audio better from like the people that the the bat the monsters or yourself. So you can like hold the mic out to like a monster and be like, yeah. inter- you have to. There's a, a objective in one of them that you have to interview the monsters, and you have to go up to them and try and not die. Not die and and be like, hey them. monster, what's up? Tell me, tell me what you're doing. Oh shit, you're chasing me! Oh my god! And you like run away. Yeah. So once you hit like uh, uh, a certain amount of views, you can get a sponsorships, mm. and those will give you dailies to do <laughs> to accomplish. Well, not dailies. So we'll like tasks to accomplish, and one of those tasks <clears throat> we had uh, we do we were sponsored by an energy drink company and they wanted us to record us with the energy drink next to something spooky. So we did that uh. three different times and we got, <laughs> we get, you get a certain amount of extra views to help you progress as you go forward. Um, and then like what Brett was saying, we could, uh, we had to get microphones that interviewed three different types of creatures in the area. So, so far the creatures that we've, I've ran into was the blender head guy, uh, the thing on top of the ceiling is annoying as shit because it'll suck you up and you're basically dead unless someone has a grappling hook. Mm-hmm. So you can unlock things to help survive. So you can get like a um, a grappling hook just in case you get captured by a creature. Someone can grab you and pull you down. Uh, a taser, which 
Travis found one. He tased one of the creatures so we can run away. It doesn't kill them, just in- incapacitates them for a little bit. And then, uh, shoot, what was the other one? A boom mic, which will help, you know, with the interviews and stuff so you're not that close. Mm. And I'm trying to remember. Fucking, you can uh, use some of your money to unlock emotes, which will help get your views up. Like you can do an emote in front of a monster of some sort. And then, uh, yeah, it, it's fun. I'm, I'm enjoying this game. I love yeah. this game. I really like it too. I mean, I definitely, and it's it's crazy because like I I thought Lethal Company was really because like we used to play Phasmophobia with Travis, and that game scares the living shit out of me. Like I can't go inside. Like I hate it. I don't want to be around the ghosts. They're gonna kill me. It's scary, but it's also kind of buggy and kind of like there's some parts where it's like kind of silly in a weird in a way, but in a bad way. And then Lethal Company came out and it was like taking some ideas from Phasmophobia. But I appreciated the fact that, like, they kind of force you to go inside because, like, being staying in the truck doesn't really do you a whole lot. Like, it doesn't phasmophobia. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, I guess I got to go in. And it's not as dark and creepy. But Lethal Company, I feel like, didn't have, there was less of a reason for me to go back in because every time we're just going in, grabbing objects and bringing them back. But this one with the added ability of recording a video. Each time you're like, well, what are we going to do this time with the video? You know, so like one time there was a shot that I ha- Sarah recorded me and Travis interviewing each other about being scared before we went into the thing. And then another time, like a beginning, you guys were like jumping off the crane and like mm-hmm. doing something stupid before we went inside. And just like that variety of like, what's the new thing we can do with a video recording each time kind of makes it really interesting. And the maps change too, which is also nice. So like, Whereas in Lethal Company, now granted, it's like there's like five different maps here. Um, but I like that there's a variety in the maps and they're big. They seem like they're very, very big. You can get lost. You can get lost really fast. And I feel like they're not, they weren't that size in Lethal Company and they're just like, they, they, they're, it's just like a bunch of, it's like a Doom game where you're walking from room to room. And this one, there's a lot more variety in like the, the design of it that makes it um, more interesting. Mm hmm. And also with this, there's no like real time limit, but you do have an oxygen meter yeah. that you have to like make sure it doesn't deplete all the way, and uh, so you can make it out in time. But um, yeah. yeah, as long as one person gets out with a camera, you're good. And I think I like that more than um, Lethal Company because I felt like yeah, you, you, if every if 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 you're by yourself, you're kind of fucked. Yeah, you know. Yeah. At least with this, we'll get something out of it, and we are able to get. If like everyone died out because we got great footage, as long as that one person goes back, we're we're earning something. You lose a little bit of money from dying, so you, you will have to pay for medical bills and stuff like that. But it's yeah. nothing. It's nothing like it's like two bucks, ten bucks. It depends yeah. on the, yeah, you know what level you're on. Are you saying the levels procedurally generated? No, they're not procedurally generated, but there's okay. like five different ver- five different maps basically. Okay. Four so is that five as maps. you progress, you get a new map or? No, it changes every time you drop. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, not every time you drop. Like, Well, yeah, I guess. So for the views, so right now we're watching a video. We have three days. Those three days will be going in the in the same area. Once we pass this amount of views, we go into a different map, a different location for those three days. Yeah. So. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. And, um, and the enemies, are they always the same? Or is it random for each time oh, you go in? Oh, man. It's, it's random. I mean, there's like... <clears throat> well, so what we did find out is when we got to the day, the third set of days. So we did the first three, succeeded that, got second three, did that, went to the third one. We saw some new enemies because we had that flashing enemy that would yeah. just like pop up out of nowhere. Up. So I, I wonder if there is some more that will appear yeah. um, over time. And then there's one enemy that looks like us because it has this, like the same face outline. I saw that. I saw that. Oh, yeah, that was creepy. It's creepy as shit because Brett. Someone thought it was one of us, and they ran towards it. That and was me. Yeah, and we're screaming because we're doing because uh, it has proximity chat. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we're yeah. screaming, but we're all dead, screaming at Brett not to fucking go, not to fucking go. That's no one, and he gets like boom attacked. Damn. So, yeah. That that you third, got f Brett. That third set kind of sucks. But what also I'm a little disappointed about the game is like once you hit a certain amount of views. And you get to like the third level or whatever, it starts you all the way back over when everyone dies. So you have to work Dang. your way back all the way back up to those views. And it's the 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 difficulty. So wait, the days start over or 
you know, you go back you to go where you had to get 3,000 views. 3,000 views. Again. Yeah. So it's oh. like, because you start with 3,000 oh. views in three days, and then you go up to, I think it's like 15,000 views, and yep. it goes up to like 30 or 40,000. Yeah. When you get to that third phase, like it's it's a it's roguelike, basically, where it just resets you. Man. Yeah. But and it's fun. It's that like, is fun. It's like yeah. super fun to play with with friends. It's like, it's you'll go in there doing different shit all the fucking time and trying to just get those views up and doing funny shit and just I love I love that they took the idea of like making a scary game but like knowing that there's like stupid things that your friends will do in scary situations mm-hmm. and like capitalizing on that yeah. like the whole um and I love like when you start out in the game like you're in this bright colorful cheery place and then it's like you're going down to the old world so you get in this machine thing and it drops uh, you underground into the old world where it's all like black and white and then in there's just all kinds of creepy stuff and everything but like it has the proximity voice chat which is great so yeah. like you'll be sitting there talking to somebody there's this one area of one of the maps that's like kind of like a maze but you're up on elevated platforms and there's like chain link fences or whatever that are like lining like the different pathways and there's usually always like a turret mm-hmm. gun thing in there that moves that's trying to kill you and like you'll be sitting there you'll be like I'll be like trying to find Travis. I'm like, Marco. He's like, Polo. And all of a sudden his voice goes away. And I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, the faces too are cool. So you make ASCII art for your face. What so you pick the color. So you ASCII art. So using like keyboard characters. Oh, so you okay. like you can, can use words. Oh, you can use words <laughs> no. if you want. But you only have like three or four words. So oh, that's gotcha. like, yeah. But, Interesting. but it's cool. It's like you can like put little yeah. faces made of your like emojis, basically. Yeah. I yeah. feel like this is definitely like a progression from lethal company. Oh, yeah. it is. And it's, it's fine, man. It's just but like its own realm too. Yeah. So yeah, the whole, I, I saw someone playing this. I was like, what is this game? Yeah. The, the, like watch yourself back and like it creates stuff for you. Like that is, and the like, fact that like you go and sit down on a couch physically with your friends mm-hmm. and turn this thing on and you see like comments popping up on the side that are like, relatively accurate to what was happening it's just like it's like you're getting viral comments as you load it (laughs) that's hilarious yeah this is great like wow honestly this is like a next level game because you're creating like content for the internet in the game yeah Mm -hmm. that you're playing like that's insane yeah uh y'all saved all these yeah, 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 okay, yeah. they're on the yeah, drive we, now. We're yeah. gonna have Post reels these. and TikToks of <laughs> all. I was, this. T- I was telling Jason, I was like, it was so easy because I saved these to my desktop. I loaded up CapCut and just converted them to. I, I put the little like oh, blurred yeah, background yeah, yeah. and converted them to MP4, and I was done in like five minutes. <clears throat> What's also, uh, I don't know if you realize this, Brett, but you can put your camera if you have the camera, you can put it in selfie mode. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, because you can put it <laughs> if in you're selfie running, mode, so you're running. <laughs> it's like Blair Witch Project. <laughs> That's <shit>. awesome. <laughs> it's so funny. There, there was a part. This is one video that we'll have. You'll see. You guys will see it on TikTok and uh, Instagram here soon. But so there's this little uh, this little spider bot that's got a red button on it. Oh, shit. <laughs> so it was like right when we exited the thing, there's a spider bot there, and Travis is like, "Don't touch a red button. Don't touch a red button." And Jason's and you like, know. "Like you're like what? Like this button? This button?" And yeah. then all of a sudden, all of us go up to it. Me, Sarah, and and uh, and Jason, and somebody presses it. And then all of a sudden, Someone. boom! It explodes and kills <laughs> explodes. all of us, except for Jason or yeah. except for Travis. And Travis is walking on the camera. He's like, "These fucking idiots!" <laughs> I told him not to press the button, oh, and, and I'm scared. And he's doing selfie. I mode. think I saw yeah. that. I missed the part where it exploded. But there's, yeah. uh, there's one creature in here that I ran into that's a drone and has a button on it. And oh, it's flying around. You hit the button. It explodes. It counts down. It explodes, but it's a black hole that's slowly getting oh. bigger and bigger. Oh and shit! Bigger, dude. It got. Super big. We were all just running, <laughs> trying to get out. Get out. There's get out, get the out. enemy. Like, there's all different types of enemies in here, and I'm pretty sure we haven't seen them all. Yeah, there's uh, a that's awesome. There's a roof monster that like is kind of like in a. Yeah, I saw that part. Yeah, in a Half Life. You know, with yeah. the thing that pulls you up, and yeah. it's really it's really clever. There's a lot of really nice design decisions here that um, just are impressive. It was made by. Um, I was reading about it online. It's made by one, two, three, four, five individual developers that just got together and made this game. And they were published by <sighs> Landfall Publishing. Man. And you Landfall told them don't make games, okay? You shouldn't make games. It's gonna suck. Yeah. <laughs> Landfall Publishing, they previously published um uh totally totally accurate battle simulator, which is very oh, relevant because yeah. yeah, that's yeah, yeah. super silly. Cluster truck, stick fight the game. So they've done a lot of publishing, but 
with this game, what I thought was really cool is that they released on April Fool's Day, um, which is a tradition for them to release games on April Fool's uh, Day. That's funny. And when they released it, it was available for free for the first 24 hours, which I didn't Whoa. know this. So What is it uh, now? Dude, it's, oh, it's so, only eight bucks. Wow. It's on sale right now, 20% off for six dollars and thirty nine cents. It's so freaking worth this. it. Like it's so Dude, worth it's it. It's so fun. And this is an example of like, okay, this I mean, this is a game that's eight dollars before discounts. And it's like, I mean, two or three months probably of joy and happiness. Yeah. It's not early access. So it's not like I mean, that's I'm awesome. sure they're gonna expand it and change it, but like yeah. it's very impressive for Eight bucks, you to know. To be honest, I kind of just want to stream this. Let's do it. Let's do, do it. Do it. So fun. Let's do it. Yeah. Do Get some it, more content. Uh, but uh, yeah, content warning. Highly, highly recommend. Again, this year is like indie games are just like blowing things out of the water. They also in by mid April twenty twenty four, Landfall stated the game had sold more than one million copies on top of those claimed when it was free. Hmm. So one million paid copies. In like less than two weeks, so very successful. <sighs> we look at Hellblade and Xbox, and I look at this. I'm like, "There's hope for <laughs> There's gaming." Hope there for it gaming. is, yeah, uh, yeah. Who needs? Uh, it's like this game is performing better probably than Hellblade, and look at how shitty the graphics are. Like, yes, I mean it's, it looks There's, great actually, but it's well, just I was like looking at the Steam charts for it, and there is uh, all time peak was 63. Mm-hmm. Currently, 10,000, 24 hour peak was 13,000. Hellblade only has like three, two, like 1,500, 2,000 or something like that. I think, yeah, I I think it was 3,000 right yeah. now, or like all time peak was 3,000, which is nothing. I mean, a lot of people probably play on Xbox, but yeah. still, like, I mean, I, I, w- I would imagine probably with this, it's like 80, 90 percent Xbox people. I would imagine, yeah, all time peak was 3,800, yeah, currently. 1300. I wish there was a way we could see Xbox numbers. I know, right? We'll never be able to. Yeah. Well, you make me want to play it, but I probably won't. No, Austin, just, get it. I might Come just on. buy it just to say I bought it. Yeah. And yeah. support them. Because this is, I mean, I love the, just the, the whole, the whole kit up. Yeah. Yeah. The concept. It's hard, but it's fun. Oh, here's the red button incident. Yeah, it is. It so like it's it like, comes up to you like, hey, let's just... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, don't press the button. And then Travis is like, these assholes. God damn it. So he has to he, do the whole mission he, himself? He, yeah, well, he doesn't... He is just like, I'm like I gotta get out of here now. But well, he was like... Gotta get out he was like, is anybody alive? Where's the camera? Where's the camera? I need the camera. <laughs> we already, we already hit our views because we had 3.4. Okay? Yeah. So he was just... He was just going to run around, but we wanted to keep that footage. So he went around for a little bit and then left. My favorite part is he walks in this next room and he starts talking to this roof monster for a little bit. Mm-hmm. I saw I that part. I thought that was hilarious. I saw that part. Yeah. Nice. But it's really interesting to like see it from like a third person perspective and then go back and watch the watch video it. of like the actual camera footage. So it's, uh, yeah. It's, yeah. it's like back in the day, you'd, you know, kids would get the camera and just film recording. Yeah. It is. Yeah. 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 <laughs> It's awesome. <laughs> Blair Witch Project, you know. That's content warning, everybody. Check it out. 